This land is your land. This land is my land. From California, well to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf. Welcome to Marquis World. I'm Marquis Sheehan, your host. I'm here at All Stars Project of Chicago, and my guest today is David Cherry. Thank you, David, for being on my show and allowing me to come here uh, to you all's uh, uh, project of Chicago. I really, I, I know that this is going to be a wonderful interview. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. What's your, uh, what's your position here? Uh, I am the city leader of the All Stars Project of Chicago, and we are a 100% privately funded nonprofit. Uh, we started in 1981 in New York City, mm -hmm. and uh, as a leader in the field of after school development, uh, which is a new way of engaging poverty, mm -hmm. uh, our mission is to transform the lives of youth in poor communities using the developmental power of performance in partnership with caring adults. Wow, he said a lot there, didn't he? Now this uh, program had, it had started, it was founded in the, the 80s, the early 80s, Yes, yes, it? yes. Now how did that occur? Who, who was the one who had founded the uh, program? Yeah, I mean, we, we were started by a group of uh, community activists who were working in poor communities in New York City, mm -hmm. uh, primarily in the Bronx and Harlem and Brooklyn, and uh, really supporting uh, people who were living in poverty with uh, being able to um, fight for their benefits and fight for uh, dignity and the right to survive and be able to be able to feed their families. And many of the people who were being supported by our early organizers were uh, mostly parents. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, uh, we appreciate the support you've given us and our children don't have a whole lot of things to do given all the budget cuts that were occurring in New York City in the early 80s. Wow. Um, and so our activists went to the young people and said, what kind of things would you like to do? And the young people said, uh, we want to have a talent show. So we produced our very first All-Stars talent show um, in a church basement in the Bronx, New York, back oh, in 1981. Now, how many All-Star projects do you all have? Uh, we are, uh, from our founding in New York City in mm -hmm. uh, 1981, mm -hmm. uh, we expanded to uh, Newark, New Jersey uh, in uh, 1997 to... Um, San Francisco, California in 2005, and I'm proud that I started our uh, All-Stars Project of Chicago mm -hmm. 12 years ago in 2007, and we're also uh, located in, uh, in uh, Dallas, Texas as well. Ooh, well that's something to really be proud of. Yes, it to is. Be, uh, to be proud of, to be a part of. Yes. That is something else. So what are, what are some of the, the things that they learn? Well, you know, the, the thing I'm so proud about with the All-Stars is that uh, we have a, an approach of after-school development as to use as a tool for growth and development for young people. Mm -hmm. And our after-school development programs are designed to help young people to feel more worldly, to feel more confident, to uh, see more possibilities for themselves and their families. And, um, and I would you know, love to tell you about the uh, programs we have which really help our young people to grow and develop. What actually, uh, what type of children are these? Are, are, what are the ages and where do they come from? What are, what are the targeted areas that mm -hmm. you, uh, uh, is it like single parents or, uh, I know that single parents might mean a, a father nowadays, mm -hmm. just yeah. a father, yeah. or is it uh, mostly uh, families that are fatherless or mm -hmm. what, what type of uh, children are we targeting here? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. I mean, you know, it, actually, it, it, I guess the best way to respond is to tell you a little bit more about our programs and, okay. who, and the age range of the young people in our programs. And this, uh, this also is a non-for-profit organization. It, it, it's absolutely 100% okay. privately funded non-profit. Uh, our flagship program is the All-Stars Talent Show Network. Okay. And we uh, have young people from 5 to 25 years of age oh. uh, participate in hip-hop talent shows. Uh, in locations throughout the south and the west sides. Okay. Uh, young people 
Um, they sing, they rap, they dance, they do all types of performances. We allow young people to express themselves in their own words. We don't censor the, censor the performance mm -hmm. that young people uh, often talk about very traumatic things sometimes. Sometimes they speak about joyful things, but the key thing is every you know, young person's performance is in their own words. And that's for ages 5 to 25 years of age. And uh, we have a development school for youth program, which is for young people uh, 16 to 21. And what we do with this program, uh, Marky, is that we introduce young people uh, to our partners in the business community. Uh, we have a series of weekly workshops that take place in downtown Chicago. Mm -hmm. There's no grade point average requirement for a young person to participate. Mm -hmm. So whether a young person is getting A's, B's, C's, D's, F's, even if they've dropped out of school, mm -hmm. they can be part of either one of our programs, the All-Stars Talent Show Network or the Development School. Oh, that's you. wonderful for you to say that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And because sometimes they they generally would say something like, you know, if you keep your grades up, you can come up in here. Right, right. And some people can't keep their grades Well, up. we need to reach those young people yeah. as well. And yeah. so in our Development School for Youth program, young people participate in a 14-week semester of workshops mm -hmm. that are sponsored by our uh, partnering companies. The workshops include resume writing, public speaking, how to interview for a job, um, and we have a big graduation ceremony near the end of May, and all of our graduates are placed into six-week paid summer internships. And I'm proud to say this past summer, uh -huh. 2019, we placed 75 young people into uh, paid internships at 39 different companies where they earn $14 an hour for the six weeks during the summer. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I, really, I have to pack everybody on the back of that because I'm all for children. I, I wanted to do as much as possible for youth services. Yes. And uh, it's just like I was telling um, Tiffany. Yes. Tiffany, that uh, my, my memory or names are not good at all, but I, I was telling Tiffany that um, if you have an opportunity to put things on television, it should be to help other people. Yes. Because or if you have an opportunity to get a business, it should help other people in some type of way. And this is something that the children are more important than anything. Yes. And I'm so glad that you all have just reached out to them and, and embraced them and try to do so much. And what, what other things that you all do at your school? Yeah. Well, with the Development School for Youth program, um, one of the things that has been a beautiful thing to witness mm -hmm. is the young people uh, participating again in the workshops, mm -hmm. the young people doing six-week internships, mm -hmm. but they've really gotten to know uh, many of the business uh, leaders who, who sponsor the internships. So, you know, many business people take young people out to lunch, they take them out on uh, special uh, boat outings, they take them to see plays, mm -hmm. and, um, and we do a lot of that as well with our young people because we want them to become more more worldly, more uh, familiar, more connected to our city. So we've had many of our folks who sponsored trips to the Art Institute right. for the architectural boat ride, yeah. uh, going to the Shed Aquarium. So that way young people um, see more of the culture of Chicago. Yeah, and this Chicago is the place to be for that. I mean, you'll never run out of things to do here yeah. in Chicago. Yeah. Never. Yeah. And one thing about, I just definitely want to um, talk about how we uh, have a fantastic outreach team that goes into our communities uh, because we, even though we have a social media presence, mm -hmm. we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn, but um, we know not everybody's going to find us that way. So we have teams that go out to communities uh, on the south and west sides to transit stops, to street corners, oh. to uh, community centers mm -hmm. uh, with clipboards, with postcards, and we sign people up right at the green line, train stop, the mm -hmm. blue line, the red line, uh, the orange line, we go out to right where people are in the community and meet them on the streets uh -huh. and we sign up people to participate in our programs. And we meet all kinds of young people who are walking the streets, many of whom didn't think that they would ever be invited to participate in, in quality programs. But I'm very proud of how we've you know, spoken to over 30,000 young people uh, over the course of our 12 years through our community outreach operation. Wow. And so this is one, is it just in New York and Chicago? New York, Chicago, and Texas, right? Uh, New York, Chicago, uh, Dallas, Texas, 
Uh, also, San Francisco, uh, California, oh. uh, we uh, have a we do we, we, we do a, we do very similar operations in which we go out into the communities to transit stops, transit stops and street corners and speak okay. to young people and their families and invite them to be part of our programs. And we're looking to we want to invite everybody because this these are, these programs are really developmental for every young person. And again, regardless of how well they're doing in school, whether they've dropped out of school, we want young people to know that in the All Stars Project that this is a place where we welcome them and they can grow and develop. Come and using and use, like come as you are type thing. Yeah, okay. yeah, and, and the key thing is using the developmental power of performance mm -hmm. because uh, young when young people perform, they feel alive. And in places like Chicago, um, where so many communities on the south and the west sides have you know, had many years of disinvestment or, or disrespect in many cases, we go into, the, into these same neighborhoods and we give young people a chance to express themselves. And through performance, young people feel alive. They feel like they can they can accomplish things they didn't think they could do. Special. Whether it's singing on stage yeah, yeah, that, that's what or, or, or being an intern at a company. Do they have to uh, have any type of experience? Do they have to have any talent or do you teach them the talent? Not at all. They can perform just as they are. Like if a young person, if you have an a, a eight-year-old girl who wants to recite her ABCs on stage, uh, that is a developmental experience for her because she's getting a chance to stand up in front of 300 people mm -hmm. and to do a performance. And sometimes uh, performances look different for different people. Mm -hmm. Some people are very talented, some people are not as talented, but the, 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 the thing that connects them is performing and performing right. on stage and performing in front of an audience and hearing the cheering from an audience and hearing yeah. that appreciation yeah. for the fact that they were courageous enough to get up on stage and to sing and rap mm -hmm. or play an instrument that and they're, they're starting to learn their work yes. but even if they hadn't in one they may not have excelled in one area they may be able to find something else it's yes yeah exactly to, exactly yeah. exactly yeah. and you know one of the things I love about how our young people are involved is not only do they perform on stage, not only do they perform in these, um, you know, perform as young professionals and workshops and as paid internships, uh, many of our young people volunteer with us as well. Like oh, many okay. of them love to give back. And some people don't realize just how much it means to a young person when they are able to help you to build your organization and build your program. Right. So young people are side by side with us mm -hmm. when we're doing outreach on the south and the west sides. Uh, young people are um, uh, with us when we do our fundraising events. They are they dress up. They come to oh, yeah. uh, our luncheons, to dinner events, yeah. and so our young people are very much a part of not only being uh, participants in the programs, but, but fellow be, builders with be, us. Be as well. out in the world with the business and yes. interacting with older people and yes. different nationalities yes. and different types yes. of talents. Yeah, and they That's develop as young leaders when they do that. Yeah, they do. So now, how long have you been in this entire uh, group thing? I'm so glad you asked that oh, because okay. it, it was actually 30 years ago that what? I first met the All Stars Project. What you? I thought you were 30 years old. <laughs> oh my God, what's going no, on I here? Appreciate that, I appreciate that, Marky. Am I but, drinking? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to give me some, some drugs or but, something. But, but, I, but I appreciate that. But I met our organization uh, 30 years ago, um, uh, August 1989, when I was still living in Harlem, New York City. Oh, okay. And um, the thing that um, I, I appreciated from the very beginning mm -hmm. was, you know, as a a uh, poor man in Harlem, mm -hmm. and you know, and I understand often. I understand what it feels like when you're poor, and people don't think you can really accomplish a whole lot. People don't believe right, in they you. Don't, people they don't, don't think, think too much of you. They really don't. They really don't think too much of you. Don't think you can do a lot of things. But the but the leadership of this organization from the very beginning saw a lot of great things uh, in mm -hmm. me. They thought I could do a lot of stuff. Okay. And so from the very beginning, I was related to as a person who had the potential mm -hmm. to become a leader. And so from those days of uh, being a community organizer and activist in Harlem and mm -hmm. Bronx and Brooklyn and New York and being asked to start the All-Stars in Chicago in 2007, okay. now I have the opportunity to reach out to people, um, young people and adults on the south and the west sides and say, hey, I think you can lead too. And I have 
confidence that you can grow and develop as well. So you moved from New York to Chicago. That, that was a great. Was that a greater opportunity? Because New York. Well, I, I love Chicago. I, I love Chicago. Oh, I'm know. a Chicagoan now. You know, oh, like yeah, this Chicago. is this is home. And um, you know, and I and I think when I think about the potential of Chicago, I think that there is uh, potential to achieve a lot of great things here. Oh, it uh, is. And, it because, is. And, and and we have to believe in in the young people. We have to believe in their families. Uh, because people are, you know, working hard, they're struggling, but in many cases, uh, a lot of uh, young people and their families growing up on the south and west sides have not had a lot of people who, who believed in them. And, and I'm saying, I believe in you, and I believe that you right. can. I want you to be part of our All-Stars Talent Show Network events. I want you to be part of the shows. I want you to come down and to sign up for our um, Development School for Youth uh, Internship Program. And one of the things I've seen, Marky, is that um, young people have truly excelled um, here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, again, not only as uh, key participants and leaders within our talent shows and within our internship programs, but many of them have really become uh, really powerful leaders and uh, spokespeople and they actually come to our events and speak publicly about you know, their experiences being part of the All-Stars Project. Wow. So I, I know that the parents have to <laughs> go through some type of uh, like wonderful uh, w w transformation with their children yes. trying to figure out like I didn't know that my child was so talented yes, because yeah. they may not have even thought that their children could do these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I love speaking to the parents because uh, the parents uh, are some of the biggest as you can imagine at the talent shows mm -hmm. they're you know, they have their, their, their cell phone cameras out. Right. They're taping their young people performing on stage. Mm -hmm. uh, when we have a uh, graduation ceremony for our development school for youth program. Right. Again, just think these young people have gone through a process, 14 weeks of coming downtown, participating in workshops uh, like Naveen Investments, uh, Amity Residential, USG Corporation, um, uh, Hillco Global, and they're getting a chance after 14 weeks of coming to weekly mm -hmm. workshops, mm -hmm. here's a graduation ceremony that celebrates their success. Right. So here you have the parents who are so proud, they're taking mm -hmm. photos with their young people, right. they're taking photos with some of the business people who right. led the they, workshops. They would never have imagined uh, would be happening. Yeah, and now their young person, their daughter or their son, uh, is going on a six-week internship, paid summer internship, mm -hmm making $14 an hour wow. working in a corporate location in downtown Chicago or in a couple of cases we have internship companies like Hillco out in Northbrook or, or, um, or a couple of other suburban companies but these young people are you know earning $14 an hour for six weeks in the summer so it's a proud moment for the young person and for the parents as well to see young people succeed mm -hmm. in such a magnificent way. And it and it would because a lot of grown ups uh they're making fourteen dollars an hour. So yeah, for a child yeah. to make fourteen dollars an hour that's uh pretty good because now you know that you're equal and you can expand your life a little bit more and you have something to look forward to. Yeah. Children, that's the thing. If you one lady told me that uh she really didn't think that she was going to amount to anything mm -hmm. because her parents told her you will never be anything. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things I, I really love about doing this work is, you know, we see a lot of growth from young people and their parents because, again, when I think about the story of Chicago, um, for many years some of the parents have been denied many opportunities and so, um, you know, they it's easy to see how people can feel hopeless about right. their future. Yeah. Um, again, we've had communities that have been, um, again, just disinvested in for a long time. Yeah, and you it, have uh, really a tale of two cities. And, uh, you know, our goal is to create really one like Chicago. It's really like the hell, so the hell thoughts. Right, you know, you right. You say the one or the other. Yeah, and so we see parents uh, seeing through their children, seeing through their daughters, through their mm -hmm. sons, an opportunity for them to grow, for them to have a better future. And um, that's one of the things I feel uh, proud about, which is also part of uh, the, the, our effort here in Chicago, uh, in addition to continuing to grow our programs, the All-Stars Talent Show Network and the Development School for Youth, we've also embarked on a uh, $22 million campaign to build a center for after-school development right here in downtown Chicago. And that center is going to be a place that's going to welcome 
uh, young people, their families, wow. our business partners, uh, people who are involved in um, in, in some of this, uh, Chicago's culture. Like we, we, we see this as a place for everybody, for everybody to be together, for everybody to grow together, for everybody to play together, for everyone to work together. And it's part of our mission to um, move from the Taylor two cities and in fact create one Chicago. Oh, that's wonderful. That is that is just absolutely wonderful. And about how many children do you work with at a time? Well, you know, one of the things I'm proud I, of... I call them children, but you said it goes up to 25. Yeah, yeah. We, but, you know, at 25, believe it or not, you're yeah. still kind of like... You might still be like a little child. <laughs> Talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, one of the things um, in our uh, talent shows, uh, we've had over 5,000 people participate in our various talent mm -hmm. shows. We've had 37 different talent shows okay. here in the city of Chicago. Um, in our development school for youth program, mm -hmm. we've had uh, almost 500 uh, young people participate in internships uh, from 83 different companies. And you know, and this wouldn't be possible without the support of a lot of our, our business partners who are very generous with their resources, generous with their time, and it really made it possible for these young people uh, to, over the years, receive over $1 million dollars in internship wages wow. and so I'm very Ooh. proud of how our business partners have helped to make a real difference mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for our young people from the south and the west sides who have um, in many cases have not uh, been offered a lot of opportunities and now they have opportunities to grow mm -hmm. to develop and in the internship to, to earn some money but the biggest thing uh, Marky is just them feeling more human more connected mm -hmm. um, and to feel more part of the city of Chicago. And you know what, that has a lot to do with the work environment, the, yes. the teamwork that you all uh, apply to the uh, participants. Yes. And I assume that you all have a really like family type environment. Yes. Okay, yeah. Like no, we do. We Christopher do. Yeah. and Tiffany. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And Derek. Yeah. Because I have to thank all of them. Uh, yeah. Because they're, they're just wonderful. But yeah. some of the, would you all have uh, professional teachers or something? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm proud of our team. You know, like we, we met our team in various ways. Like some people just started volunteering for us before we hired them. Mm -hmm. In some cases, we have hired uh, some young people who started out in our programs and you know, we have a couple of them who are on our staff uh, okay. right here in Chicago and across the country. Oh. So, um, you know, people who are participants in the All-Stars, and I can speak for myself from having, as I mentioned earlier, right. having done yeah. this you know, yeah. thir for 30 years, um, you know, I just feel proud of the commitment of people who want to see a better society, want to see a better world, you know, because so many of our young people, we have to move away from the, we have to do something about the isolation and yeah. the disconnection and yeah, the marginalization and true. to really help people who are growing up in, in our city's most devastated communities to feel like this is their city too. Yeah, because it's like it's only one type of uh, life in, yeah. the, in the city, but there yeah. are other people that are uh, in there too, you yes, know, that need right. help and assistance right. with that's a right. lot of things. That's right. And people are just not aware that there are people like you out here to... Uh, uh, help uh, a lot of the children in need. Do they have to be like uh, uh, underprivileged or are they just children in need? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. And, 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 and one of the things I wanted to add too, we have um, um, we've been doing a lot of work to support other after school programs. Mm -hmm. We have something we call an after school development working group mm -hmm. in which we uh, get together with other uh, youth programs and after school programs to help okay. develop, you know, best practices in the field of after school development. Uh, every year we have an after school development conference okay. in which we have people from over 100 uh, youth organizations and nonprofits here in Chicago. Oh, wow. We convene them and we um, really speak about how we can all get. Uh, better and improve and work with each other mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when it comes to developing young people because the, the, the job of youth development is a huge task here in the city of Chicago and it's going to take all of us, you know, All Stars Project as well as um, other people who are doing some really great work in the field of after school development. Like how can we work together to help reach yeah. As many of, uh, let's reach all the young people in the city of Chicago. That's what and that's going to require do. all of us that's working together to do that. You really have to do because 
uh, some of these teens are suffering out here. Yeah, they They're are. They're really having they a really hard are. time. And I, I, I really appreciate uh, you sitting here and speaking with me. But if you, it's, well, you I appreciate gonna... you. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, thank you, uh, Marky, and I appreciate oh. you for for uh, for coming here to our office and. Um, you know, I appreciate hearing about your story as well. You're an inspiration, yes. and uh, and I really, you know, appreciate you for for being here. I always tell people just go to my website, and you can learn a whole lot about my life. My life is very interesting, uh, but um, this particular All Star project, I will have. I will say this. Well, amongst everything else wonderful about them, yeah. that they are so professional. Uh, well, thank you, Derek Backwith. You know, he's the one that I spoke to from the beginning, and we, we had been talking, I think, since the winter time. Yeah. And then he told me about you, and then he had Christopher uh, Lathan to meet me, and. Uh, I don't know if he has a girlfriend or not, but <laughs> <laughs> you girls need to get a chance to meet him. He's a young hat. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's he's a wonderful married man, and he he's so adorable, and he's such a professional business person. So anyway, um, and Christopher Latham is an alum of our program from New York City. Oh. Okay. From the first year of the development school for youth, uh -huh. so I'm proud of him for uh, being part of uh, uh, an alum and now a a one of our young leaders uh, for the All Stars project. Well, well, I can tell he's doing a wonderful job. Yes. And I told and see, remember I said I said I know it's something about you. It's something really about you. But I'm I'm proud of him for being a young man that's going through yes. uh, doing these things, and he's married. That that says a whole lot. And uh, I know there's something very special about him. I told you that, didn't I? There was something very special about him. But just everybody that I came in contact. What's Tiffany's last name? Uh, Tiffany Weisberg. Weisberg. And, she, and, and Tiffany has been with us for uh, 10 years now. She started volunteering with us in Ooh. 2009 before we brought her on part-time, then brought her on full-time. So I'm proud another. of her because of her commitment. Okay. To our uh, young people as well. So that, that's another thing. Uh, apparently, that when you all work around these children, you look a lot younger. So how old is uh, Christopher? Like uh, 50 years old? <laughs> you know, everybody looks so young. Everybody, uh, uh, Tiffany looks like she's about, uh, what, 22 years old or something? Uh, we're not going to go through that, but... Yeah, everybody looks very young. Yeah, we have a. I'm proud that we have a great team. We have a great team of uh, of staff and volunteers. But we've had, um, like right now, we've had over 500 people here in Chicago alone who have uh, volunteered with the uh, All Stars Project. Okay. So I'm just proud of how people uh, come here. They stay with us. They stay with us even whether they're volunteering or they become part of the staff. But it's a very committed team. And we're all on the same page when it comes to uh, creating One Chicago and, and bringing the best uh -huh. and the highest quality, most innovative programs to our young people in the city of Chicago. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap up. And thank you so much for having me here. I really enjoyed myself. And I loved everything that you said about this place. And I loved all the people that I've met. So say goodbye, David. Say goodbye. Take care. <laughs> Bye-bye. Nice meeting everybody. <laughs>